Test 1. Listen carefully. In this test, there are three words to a line. I'm going to read one word from each line. Beside the word I read, there is a letter. Share this letter on your answer sheet. Here are two examples. Example 1. Beat. The word I read was B-E-A-T. Beat. So the correct answer for example 1 is A. This is recorded by shading answer space A against number 1. Example 2. Park. The word I read was P-A-R-K. Park. So the correct answer for example 2 is C. This is recorded by shading answer space C against number 2. Now get ready to answer the rest of test 1 on your answer sheet. Start at number 1. Number 1. Greed. Number 2. Side. Number 3. Eyes. Number 4. Dome. Number 5. Fat. Number 6. Odor. Number 7. Slide. Number 8. Bun. Number 9. Pool. Number 10. On. Test 2. Listen carefully. In this test, there are three words to a line. I'm going to read one word from each line. Beside the word I read, there's a letter. Shade this letter on your answer sheet. Here are two examples. Example 1. Seeds. The word I read was... S E E D S seeds. So the correct answer for example one is B. This is recorded by shading answer space B against number one. Example two bent. The word I read was B E N T bent. So the correct answer for example two is A. Is recorded by shading answer space A against number two. Now get ready to answer the rest of test two on your answer sheet. Start at number 11. Number 11, gear. Number 12, slot. Number 13, well. Number 14, plush. Number 15, divide. Number 16, tamper. Number 17, fetal. Number 18, knocked. Number 19, swain. Number 20, Sector. Test 3. Listen carefully. In this test, there are four words to a line. I'm going to read one word from each line. Beside the word I read, there is a letter. 
Share this letter on your answer sheet. Here are two examples. Example 1. Watch. The word I read was W-A-T-C-H. Watch. So the correct answer for example 1 is D. This is recorded by shading answer space D against number 1. Example 2. Slime. The word I read was S-L-I-M-E. Slime. So the correct answer for example 2 is A. This is recorded by shading answer space A against number 2. Now get ready to answer the rest of test 3 on your answer sheet. Start at number 21. Number 21. True. Number 22. Steam. Number 23. Own. Number 24. House. Number 25. Pray. Number 26. Worth. Number 27, go. Test 4. Listen carefully. In this test, there are three sentences in each group. I'm going to read one sentence from each group. Beside the sentence I read, there's a letter. Shade this letter on your answer sheet. Here are two examples. Example 1. He couldn't play. The sentence I read was sentence C. He couldn't play. So the correct answer for example 1 is C. It is recorded by shading answer space C against number 1. Example 2. This team has power. The sentence I read was sentence A. This team has power. So the correct answer for example 2 is A. It is recorded by shading answer space A against number two. Now get ready to answer the rest of test four, your answer sheet. Start at number 28. Number 28. Peter threatened to punish Jane. Number 29. The topic for discussion was services. Number 30. My poem is entitled The Future. Number 31. Is rather worthy. Number 32. The word reverse confused him. Number 33. Unfortunately, she couldn't spell raw. Number 34, she said it was secular. Test 5. In this test, the word you will hear does not appear on your word list. That word only rhymes with one of the words on the list. Example 1. Listen to this word, pet. Which of the four words in example 1 rhymes with pet? The correct word is set. The other words do not rhyme with pet. The letter written against set is C, 
and this is recorded by Shading as face C against number 1. Example 2. Listen to this word, sing. Which of the four words in example 2 rhymes with sing? The correct word is wing. The other words do not rhyme with sing. The letter written against wing is D. And this is recorded by shading answer space D against number 2. Now get ready to answer the rest of test 5 on your answer sheet. Start at number 35. Number 35. Wept. Number 36. Winks. Number 37. Thieves. Number 38. One. Number 39. Time. Number 40, earn. Number 41, weird. Number 42, bake. Test 6. You're now going to hear some questions and answers. The questions will all be different, and the answer is always the same. You have to choose the one question. We go to the repeated answer. Here are two examples. Example 1. Who borrowed your newspaper? He borrowed my newspaper. Did John borrow your newspaper? He borrowed my newspaper. Did he steal your newspaper? He borrowed my newspaper. The correct answer is C because... He borrowed my newspaper. Answers the question. Did he steal your newspaper? This is recorded by Shading Answer Space C against number one. Example two. What is the capital of Britain? London is the capital of Britain. Is London the capital of Britain? London is the capital of Britain. What country is London the capital of? London is the capital of Britain. London is the capital of Britain. Answer the question. What is the capital of Britain? This is recorded by Shading Answer Space A against number 2. In the test which follows, you will hear only the answers. The questions will not be read. Now get ready to answer the rest of test 6 on your answer sheet. Start at number 43. Number 43. Rojo is a hard-working man. Number 44. Republicans will win the match. Number 45. The army bombed the Republicans then. Number 46. The naughty girls mocked Tim. Number 47. Gossips caused dissension in society. Number 48. The new king sat on a horse. Number 49. Mercy could have been our queen. Number 50. They brought me some yams. Number 51. Our local football players excelled. Number 52. Paul, our class rep, is a dictator. Test 7. 
You are now going to hear some short conversations. After each conversation, read the three statements on your question paper and decide which of them is correct. Share the appropriate space on your answer sheet. Here is an example. He said the exercise was well done. That's what he said. Both are doubtful as to whether the exercise was well done. The correct answer is therefore statement C. This is recorded by shading answer space C. Now get ready to answer the rest of test 7 on your answer sheet. Start at number 53. Number 53. Mrs. Brown is 95 years old. 95 years. Number 54. He beat the champion to a pulp. Without doubt. Number 55. The speech inspired many. It did. Number 56. This is your tenth child. Tenth. Test 8. You're now going to hear a short conversation between two speakers, a man and a woman, and a narrative. Both the conversation and the narrative will be played to you twice. Immediately after hearing each of them, you'll be asked two questions. From your question paper, decide on the correct answers. On your answer sheet, shade the space with the appropriate letter. There are no examples for this test. Therefore, get ready to start at number 57. Conversation. Sarah is very upset. What's wrong? She says you embarrassed her as you were coming home. Giving her a lift home embarrassed her. Wonders will never end. Oh, stop it. What happened? I only told her some home truths. She allowed her phone to slave her. The mobile phone again? Not exactly the phone, but the use and misuse of it. Yes, people use it to gossip. True. But my main concern is, that daughter of yours spends, or should I say, wastes all her time on the phone. Hmm. She doesn't do her morning chores well because she's always chatting on her phone. You see? In the middle of doing something, Sarah hears the beep. And she leaves everything and rushes to the phone as if it were a helplessly sick baby. That's true. Even when she's eating, she keeps checking what's on the phone. She almost caused an accident this morning. Dear Lord, what did she do? Well, I was busy meandering through people who had no respect for vehicles and their fellow road users. Our darling daughter gave a whoop and lifted both hands. Alarmed, I quickly turned and lost control of the steering. Oh, dear. It was only by grace, mercy, experience, and expertise that I missed a trader selling on the pavement. We thank God. This girl needs counseling. However, I had to pay an unreasonably huge sum of money for words I had crushed. Opportunistic trader. I can bet you were made to pay for a whole month's sales. Right. Do I try to protest? The trader created such a cacophonous scene that I had to quickly pay her and leave. Well, our elders have said that if you don't touch the bamboo, it wouldn't make a noise. You can't complain about something you have caused. If you hadn't crushed some words, you wouldn't have been exploited. True. And if I scold my daughter for unwittingly causing that near catastrophe, she runs to her mother complaining. Forgive her. But seriously, this obsession with the phone must stop. Otherwise, people will be bumping into each other everywhere. Vehicles will be crashing. There will be general inattentiveness because I hear that even some teachers pick up calls met sentence in the course of their teaching. Also, during proceedings in Parliament and in consulting rooms, what we haven't heard is a surgeon picking a call during surgery or a woman in labor doing Facebook. That would be the day. We really have to check this addiction to the mobile phone. 
Listen to the conversation again. Sarah is very upset. What's wrong? She says you embarrassed her as you were coming home. Giving her a lift home embarrassed her. Wonders will never end. Oh, stop it. What happened? I only told her some home truths. She allowed her phone to enslave her. The mobile phone again? Not exactly the phone, but the use and misuse of it. Yes, people use it to gossip. True. And my main concern is that daughter of yours spends, or should I say, wastes all her time on the phone. Hmm. She doesn't do her morning chores well because she's always chatting on her phone. You see? In the middle of doing something, Sarah hears the beep and she leaves everything and rushes to the phone as if it were a helplessly sick baby. That's true. Even when she's eating, she keeps checking what's on the phone. She almost caused an accident this morning. Dear Lord, what did she do? Well, I was busy meandering through people who had no respect for vehicles and their fellow road users. Our darling daughter gave a whoop and lifted both hands. Alarmed, I quickly turned and lost control of the steering. Oh, dear. It was only by grace, mercy, experience, and expertise that I missed a trader selling on the pavement. We thank God. This girl needs counseling. However, I had to pay an unreasonably huge sum of money for words I had crushed. Opportunistic trader. I can bet you were made to pay for a whole month's sales. Right. Do I try to protest? The trader created such a cacophonous scene that I had to quickly pay her and leave. Well, our elders have said that if you don't touch the bamboo, it wouldn't make a noise. You can't complain about something you have caused. If you hadn't crushed some words, you wouldn't have been exploited. True. And if I scold my daughter for unwittingly causing that near catastrophe, she runs to her mother complaining. Forgive her. But seriously, this obsession with the phone must stop. Otherwise, people will be bumping into each other everywhere. Vehicles will be crashing. And there will be general inattentiveness because I hear that even some teachers pick up calls met sentence in the course of their teaching. Also, during proceedings in Parliament and in consulting rooms, what we haven't heard is a surgeon picking a call during surgery or a woman in labor doing Facebook. That would be the day. We really have to check this addiction to the mobile phone. Number 57. According to the conversation, number 58 from the conversation will learn that Narrative. My son, Tom, disliked cockroaches when he was a little boy. He would chase and kill them and serve them to the fowls in the house. Now that he's married with children, Tom hates cockroaches with a passion. He explained this hatred to me when I visited him recently. He was reading in his study when he heard a rustle on the veranda outside. Looking out, he saw two cockroaches playing under an old cupboard the family kept their garden tools in. Tom immediately jumped up and with one of his slippers as a weapon, stormed the veranda. The smaller cockroach ran into the cupboard through a small hole, but the bigger one wasn't that fast, so Tom killed it with no effort at all. This victory urged him to look for and kill the small one, which was also determined to stay alive. Tom chased the small one as if it was a really dangerous enemy until it got cornered in a small place. By now, Tom was sure he had conquered his enemy and was approaching it menacingly with his slipper raised high. Then, suddenly, the tiny insect turned and flew at my poor boy, who then thought the cockroach had developed some power to hurt him to avenge all the cockroaches he had murdered since he was a little child. Tom gave a shriek and ran into the room, suspecting that the cockroach would come after him, but the wise cockroach had made off in the opposite direction. When Tom's wife came out to find out what was amiss, he only said he was stretching after sitting for a long time. I couldn't help laughing at him for his ordeal. 
The behavior of the cockroach made me think of the saying that the best form of attack is surprise. Now, Tom is observed with buying all kinds of insect killers to use in and outside of his house so that he wouldn't have to have another confrontation with a cockroach. Poor Tom. He has a fright of his life from a tiny, wretched-looking cockroach. Listen to the narrative again. My son, Tom, the slight cockroaches when he was a little boy. He would chase and kill them and serve them to the fowls in the house. Now that he's married with children, Tom hates cockroaches with a passion. He explained this hatred to me when I visited him recently. He was reading in his study when he heard a rustle on the veranda outside. Looking out, he saw two cockroaches playing under an old cupboard the family kept their garden tools in. Tom immediately jumped up and with one of his slippers as a weapon, stormed the veranda. The smaller cockroach ran into the cupboard through a small hole, but the bigger one wasn't that fast, so Tom killed it with no effort at all. This victory urged him to look for and kill the small one, which was also determined to stay alive. Tom chased the small one as if it was a really dangerous enemy until it got cornered in a small place. By now, Tom was sure he had conquered his enemy and was approaching it menacingly with his slipper raised high. Then, suddenly, the tiny insect turned and flew at my poor boy, who then thought the cockroach had developed some power to hurt him, to avenge all the cockroaches he had murdered since he was a little child. Tom gave a shriek and ran into the room, suspecting that the cockroach would come after him, but the wise cockroach had made off in the opposite direction. When Tom's wife came out to find out what was amiss, he only said he was stretching after sitting for a long time. I couldn't help laughing at him for his ordeal. The behavior of the cockroach made me think of the saying that the best form of attack is surprise. Now, Tom is observed with buying all kinds of insect killers to use in and outside of his house so that he wouldn't have to have another confrontation with a cockroach. Poor Tom. He has a fright of his life from a tiny, wretched-looking cockroach. Number 59. According to the narrative, Number 60. From the narrative, we learn that 